Today we're going to talk about the Terminator Resistance game. Now this game has been out for like three years now, but I just got around to playing it. And it's insanely good. Not only does it start with like a completely different vibe at the beginning. Like you can see me right here sneaking around because I'm scared to get my ass pushed in. And it has like these cool like Frogger mini games for hacking, which is insane. And it's just got fun little tidbits throughout this game. The best way I could describe the epicness of this would be like, oh, have you ever just wanted to play like a linear Fallout 4 in a Terminator universe? Bam! This is the game. This is the goddamn game. It's got like shreds of, what was that game called? Metro. It's got shreds of Metro, but I would say it's more like Fallout. It really pulls a lot like, uh, from the Bethesda games, you can tell the Bethesda was, like, a huge influence on this son of a bitch, and, I, I mean, right down to the lock picking. now, the lock picking isn't a hundred percent, uh, the studio that made this, uh, I'm sure wasn't drowning in money when they got this contract, especially after their last, uh, little uh, soiree into the gaming, uh, universe, they dropped the Rambo movie game, now, if you don't know anything about the Rambo movie game, it's hot dog shit on a platter served cold, if that sounds fine to you, you're an idiot, but these guys were kind of known for a studio that made a horrible game to come back, turn around, and be like, yeah, bro, this is what's up, this is what we have, and they we're going to do the cool stuff. And they did. They really did knock this game out of the park. And I really like games like this. Especially in today's day and age. Where we're getting more um, more games that are just kind of like... Oh, not formulaic, I would say. But it's almost like they're pushing for the big, heavy hitter games anymore. Everything's like bigger budget, bigger scope. So to get something like this that was really kind of feels like uh, reminiscent of like the good tie-in games from back in the day. Because none of the games, the tie-ins were over the top amazing. But this was like the old Riddick game, you know, where you jumped in and you were so like completely surprised. I mean, just the fear in this first half of this game, our first quarter of this game, like, right here, I, I just tried to run down this road before, uh, uh, like, I, I the first run through, I, I, I did some stuff before that mission, the, the thing that where you'll jump back a little further is your checkpoint system in this game is, oh, right here, here's where I ran through, okay, so it was here, and I was like, oh, shit, run, 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 run. And you'll see me just get smoked here soon. I, I I turn this corner and just blam. I got pushed right in the ass, bro. Right in the ass. And the checkpoint system in this game is really finicky. So you'll find like little hub worlds throughout it. And you'll you'll find these little like computers that you can save at. So that's one way of saving. And the other way is just spontaneous fucking god beeps of uh, auto savings. It, there's not great checkpoint system in this game. Which I think kind of works in its favor. Because early on in the game it really makes you think about your moves. Later on in the game. I mean the game gets kind of easy at one point. Uh, um, you start melting stuff. Which... I'm not gonna lie, I had it on a harder difficulty, dropped it down a little bit, because the early section is pretty difficult. The early section, when you're doing a lot of the uh, sneaking around and stuff, it's it's it can be a little more difficult, but later it gets a little easier. Because, like, right here, you're seeing me go through and, like, pick uh, different uh, upgrades, right? I'm on my, on my little upgrade sheet here. And it's nothing that really, like, changes the world. Very simplistic, very normal. And for the most part, you can almost get every single one of these checkpoints unlocked. I didn't put a lot into sneaking because by the time I started thinking about putting stuff into sneaking, you really stop sneaking in the game. It tells you, oh, you should try sneaking. It gives you routes for it, but you get to a point where you're just kind of having more fun mowing down Terminators. You're living out your, your fantasy. Like the first time you watch the old Terminator movies, and you see the world that John Connor's living in, and you're like, man, if I was there, I'd be mowing down Terminators, you get to live out that fantasy in this game, and it's fantastic, even with it's, this being like a lower budget game, and you can tell, uh, not that, yeah, not that it ever plays really bad, but it, it doesn't play perfect, the shooting's, uh, a little better than average, the movement's below average, especially for three years ago, I mean, 
it's got sliding, but it doesn't really have clambering. The sliding's not like above anything. The the destructions really sometimes things are destructible. Everything's like almost there. But for a for a double A game, I have to say that they did a fucking amazing job. This game fucks so hard. Everything's so cool. The guns look cool. The stylistic choices they made in this game to make up for their lack of what I could probably, you can tell is budget, and their love of the IP is just insane. It makes me really wish that they uh, had been given more of a free reign on the Rambo game to really make something like this and to put the type of love they put into this into the Rambo game. Because I never played the Rambo game. It was like an on rails type thing because the studio was like hey the on rails rambo game's doing really fucking good in arcades and they were like okay and they're like you're gonna make the same game on consoles and they're like oh fuck and it got too ambitious and they tried to do other things but like even here these things you you never really see a lot of them in the in the movies I'm, i haven't watched like the newer movies but you you see like glimpses of these big terminators in the older movies and like just fighting them here now i didn't have like the the guns to really match up against this guy at this time but the fact that i was like slowly dwindling his health and oh it was so sick like these fights these moments right here in this game are what make this game fucking awesome is you'll you'll find yourself in an area you know you can sneak around it but you're like i'm gonna try to fight it i'm gonna i'm gonna fucking kill this thing i'm gonna beat this thing's ass and that's that these are the moments that i live for in gaming and i i really got a lot of that it was like in fallout 3 right you're you're you go into a building and you're climbing through it and it's full of super mutants and you know you can fight your way through the whole thing you're strong enough to do that but you don't have enough stim packs on you so you're you're kind of looking like okay i know i can push through this but i want to conserve my health so i'm going to play this smart i'm going to pick my shots i'm going to move around uh ops or move around uh barriers and stuff so i can really 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 uh, hone in on the places and the shots that i want to take and that's the moments I got with this game. Now, it's not a really long experience, I would say. It's not, you're not going to be spending, like, weeks and months on this game. I, I have this, I, I work uh, a regular 9 to 5 job, and I came home and put, like, 2, 3 hours in it the last week. And I think I beat it. I think it took me, like, 15 hours to beat this game, and it's, it was, every moment in this game is just so fucking amazing. And it, where in its shortcomings are made up for by the, like the, the world building, the, the stylistic choices, the gun designs, everything else makes up for its shortcomings. Cause like, yeah, it's not going to be as fluid as a Call of Duty. Yeah, it's not as, uh, in depth of a art because it has rpg elements it's got your uh, dialogue cheese it all affects your ending all that type of stuff like you would expect from a game kind of like a metro it has all this stuff and it's not it doesn't really change the wheel or reinvent anything but it does everything well enough to give you a fucking amazing experience like one of the things that this game really does fall back on though is its voice acting is kind of really hit or miss throughout the entire campaign but it all seems to work and the fact that you can like build bonds with characters not like deep bonds but like well some of them are pretty deep you 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 can you can like maintain a relationship with uh and like make choices they're like hey uh jilbo fucking love that shit she thought that was pretty cash money and then uh, other, and then you'll end up fucking them and stuff, it's really cool, like, actually, you have sex with some chicks, but right here, you just saw me, like, blow in, this is a part of the DLC, which I played this, this is, like, a D the part of the DLC where you're playing as a Terminator, and I just wanted to get a little bit of something to show how cool this part is, uh, just look how fucking cool the little DLC, it's like a 45 minute DLC is, and it's just, it, like, leads up to... It, like you're playing as the terminator walking around with a minigun god i fucking love this game but at the end of the day i i hope you guys all go out and like it's like twenty dollars on the playstation store right now and the dlc is like ten dollars totally worth the thirty dollars to buy this pick it up go play it my name is king jiffy coats like subscribe comment and as always stay idiots i love you